Hello and welcome to the British Columbia Real Estate Association's Housing Market Update for March 2013. A total of 4,501 homes traded hands through the multiple listing service in BC last month. After ratcheting down last summer, home sales continued to reflect rel relatively weak consumer demand. February was the seventh consecutive month of uncharacteristically low home sales, led by Vancouver, Victoria and the Fraser Valley. Despite improved affordability, many potential buyers and sellers remain in a holding pattern. As a result, pent-up demand is now becoming latent in the market. It's now not a matter of if, but when home sales rise significantly above their current pace. Most regional markets are firmly in buyer's market territory, meaning that home sellers are in more competition amongst themselves than buyers are with each other. There is less of a chance of home buyers getting into a multiple offer situation where they may end up paying more than they anticipated. In addition, a generous supply of homes in the market means that buyers have plenty of time to do their due diligence around their home purchase, such as getting a valuable inspection and shopping around for the best mortgage terms. However, modest sales activity has not translated into rising inventories, as many potential home sellers are also taking a wait-and-see approach. The average price statistic spiked in Vancouver during February 2012 and is responsible for the 8% year-over-year decline in the provincial average price. Home prices are relatively flat in most regions, albeit the average BC price rising 3% from January to February. Local markets can vary significantly, so contact your local realtor to identify market conditions in your community. Now let's take a look at market conditions around the province. Well, that's it for this month's housing market update. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.